Hey everyone, it's me, Goku. Don't forget to subscribe to Unreal and Gaming. Here, you'll find the latest Dragon Ball news and content. Also, don't forget to like the video and follow Unreal on both Instagram and Twitter. Kakarot! You Kakarot, you will be the first to turn on notifications. Then give this video a like right now, or else I'll destroy you! <laughs> The Galactic Patrol Prisoner Arc, also known as the Moral Arc within the Dragon Ball Super manga, was without question one of the fandom's favorite stories within Dragon Ball Super, as although we did have a very anticlimactic battle involving Ultra Instinct Moral versus Ultra Instinct Goku, what if the overall situation and circumstance involving Ultra Instinct Moral was a bit different than how we all originally remembered involving Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku? So instead, rather than having to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, what if Moro had gone in battling Beerus instead? What if in fact Moro was somehow able to hone Ultra Instinct to such an extent to where his body wasn't able to break down on itself? Would this ideally create a situation to where this now gives Beerus the perfect opportunity in fighting a worthy opponent? Or would the outcome essentially favor Moro with Moro having to smash Beerus into the ground and beating him? Now before we dive any further into this video, if you are new to the channel and of course have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball related, including its manga, anime, video games, fan animations, fan mangas, and more, in which would also like to be kept up to date with everything in regards to the Dragon Ball Super manga, the Dragon Ball Super anime, Dragon Ball video games, and any and all additional content within the Dragon Ball universe, then I do encourage you guys to head on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to always be notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto the channel, as well as giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are simply excited to see what the future holds for the Dragon Ball franchise and with all that being said i want to thank you all so much for your time thank you all so much for supporting the channel and now let's dive straight into the video As our story opens up following the events of Moro now successfully being able to copy and replicate Maris's power and abilities, as he was only from there shown having to drive Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku back, as with the gods now having to carefully observe this, that's when we went on to put this into question by asking, well this was certainly an unforeseen twist of events, wouldn't you say my lord? It seems as though Goku has given Moro a little too much extra time to recover sadly. Oh, a very naive mistake for someone like Goku to make unfortunately, with Beerus responding, of course he would. These Saiyans always seem to fall short of missing their mark when given the chance to do what needs to be done. And now look, now the prisoner is able to use the Angel Rookie's power at will. I'm afraid it's a little too late for Goku to act on his instincts now to finish him off, Whis responds. This Moro could end up being a much bigger problem in the long run than we realize, actually. No, oh, Goku, Goku, how careless you are sometimes, Whis says. Well, he can't say that we never warned him about this, as Moro from there went on to address Goku by telling him, my word, how magnificent. What an unbelievable difference compared to before. Oh, now I understand what gave you the edge over me, and now that I know how you did it, you can rest assured, mighty warrior, that the advantage you once had will not resurface against me to aid you again. Just wonderful, we 
piece. It was bad enough having Goku wield Ultra Instinct as it is, but now the magician has it too. I won't stand for it. Not on my watch, Beerus shouts. This has gone on long enough and it's time for it to end. Well, it sounds to me that you're looking to take some sort of action against them. Isn't that right, Lord Beerus? But before Whis could get any sort of answer out of Beerus, Whis had then gone in noticing that Beerus had now disappeared as Whis went on to ask Lord Beerus? Know this, Saiyan Moro went on to tell Goku, our next battle will be your last. You were given one too many chances to destroy me and I will not allow for you to have any more chances to best me again. You should have died on Namek. You were foolish to not finish me off when you did and now your actions will cost you dearly. At this point, Goku went on to respond, nothing you do surprises me. You pulled another one on me again, man. You're definitely something else, Goku adds, you and your sneaky bag of tricks. But I can't let you advance any further. This has gone too far, so if this is going to be where it ends, then this will be where it ends, Moro. One way or another, whether you have Ultra Instinct or not, I won't stop until I fight you to a finish. But it was only right then and there within that very moment to Goku's surprise, Beerus had finally then gotten in between Goku and Moro, as Beerus from that point on went on to address Goku by telling him, that's enough out of you, you'll do no such thing, Saiyan. L Lord Beerus, what are you doing here? It's not safe. Oh, don't lecture me with your safety, Goku. Have you forgotten who I am, or do you need a reminder of my wrath? I said that's enough. This will be as far as you go with him, so stand down. But I don't understand. Are you saying that we should just let him go, Goku asks? He's way too dangerous to set free. I don't know what this is all about. Whoever said anything about letting him go, idiot? You blew the only opportunity you were given to destroy him, and so now I have to clean your mess up for you. As even with Moro himself now having to see this, Moro went on to recognize Beerus by responding, I recognize that creature from somewhere. Yes, of course. He's the god of destruction, Beerus. After millions of years, what is he doing here, Moro questions? And what is he insinuating to that worm over there? What? No way, Goku went on to tell Beerus. He's way too strong now, and with all due respect, Lord Beerus, without Ultra Instinct, I don't think he can be stopped. Please, let me finish him off now while we have a chance. With Beerus responding, are you saying I don't have the strength to destroy him, Saiyan? You better choose your next words very carefully, Goku, or I'll make an example out of you before I annihilate him. Do you understand? So leave the battlefield now, or you'll force my hand in combat, Saiyan. As Goku now really didn't have any other choice but to listen to Beerus, as, as Goku now really didn't have any other option but to listen to Beerus, that was when Goku went on to take his leave by responding, please be careful out there, Lord Beerus, and watch out for those hands of his. He has the ability to copy our power and all of our moves if he's able to grab you. Yeah, 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 now scram, Saiyan. This is my fight now, not yours. Besides, it's been quite a long time since I actually had a good and fair fight against someone anyway. So perhaps this will satisfy my urge for a worthy adversary. Well, 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 Moro responds, at long last, after so many years, we meet again, Destroyer. Oh, how the tides have changed. Tell me, are you seeking to engage with me in a battle over Goku? It would be a foolish action on your end if you did. Much has changed since we last saw each other. Surely you are here to acknowledge me as the superior warrior, are you not? You wish, Beerus responds. And here I thought after all these years of spending your life behind metal bars that you would have already been dead by now. You're more cunning than I gave you credit for, wizard. And now that you've acquired Maris's power by stealing it, I figured what better way to rekindle our history than by beating this power out of you. To where all the while with Goku then shown having to land right next to Whis, that's when Whis went on to address Goku by telling him, well, you screwed up once again, Goku. Big time, in fact. You shouldn't have allowed for more 
to steal Maris's power when he did. Your naive nature and putting faith in your enemies is your greatest weakness, Goku. You had him right where you needed him, and you blew it, Whis says. I hope you learn from these mistakes, Goku, with Goku responding, I know I shouldn't have allowed for my emotions to get in the way when it did, but I... I was hoping that he'd see the error of his ways and change, but I was wrong. I just hope that Lord Beerus can stop him. I didn't even think it would turn out like this. To where in that very moment, it was Moro who had gone in initiating combat against Beerus by telling him, I am far from what you remember me being, Destroyer. I am far beyond being anyone's adversary. And what better opponent to set the example than the god of destruction himself, Moro shouts. As with Moro then being shown coming in hot and successfully now being able to land a punch on Beerus, the sheer depth and magnitude of the punch itself was so powerful that it literally had gone in creating a massive shockwave all throughout the planet, as even with our other heroes having to look on, that's when Gohan went on to shout, what incredible energy! Uh, hold on, guys! Oh, damn, that monster Vegeta shouts, what in the world just happened? As we only then see how within that very moment, Beerus was actually able to catch and grab onto Moro's punch, it was only seconds later where Beerus went on to acknowledge Moro by telling him, now I see, looks like you're not going to be as easy to take down as I thought. I will see to it that you never overlook me again, fragile creature, Moro says. I will gladly strip you of your title as the next great god of destruction. Whis, look, Goku says, he's pushing Beerus back. He's losing ground. He's quick, that's for sure. To where as Beerus was then shown attempting to strike Moro with Moro being shown dodging, that's when Whis went on to respond to Goku by telling him, I'm pretty sure that Lord Beerus is already well aware of what he's going up against in this fight, Goku, but how he responds will be what we wait for, as Moro went on to address Beerus by telling him, Is this truly the depth of your power? Either you're a lot slower than I imagined, or I'm just simply too good for you to land a blow. To where it was only right there where Moro was shown having to punch Beerus in the face in driving Beerus back, that's when Vegeta went on to comment, I can't believe what I'm seeing out there. Or that bastard was actually able to punch Lord Beerus back a few yards. Oh, this is far worse than I imagined, damn you Kakarot, you gave this fool too much time. Oh, that felt good, Moro says. The way my body is moving is almost too good to be true. I can see everything, every punch, every flinch. This ultra instinct is something of a gift. How will you respond then, mighty destroyer? As I continue to adapt to this new body and power, it would be wise for you to quit now while you still have your dignity. But Beerus, on the other hand, did not seem to be concerned by this, as Beerus went on to rub his chin by responding, you know, that honestly wasn't all that bad, wizard. It's rare for me to feel pain by an opponent, but you actually made me feel that one. How fun. Let me ask you something. Do you think you can go and do it again? You're smiling, Moro says. You think this is funny? Surely you aren't taking me along with this power I wield as a joke, are you? Ah, oh, then so be it, annoying creature, Moro says. I'll gladly repeat this action, only I'm going to make sure it hurts a lot more this time. Your arrogance is what blinds you, destroyer, in which as Moro had then gone to make his move yet again, the second and Moro had gone in his attempts of kicking Beerus, that's when Beerus went on to leap out of the way by them being shown grabbing onto Moro's neck by telling him, what was that you were just saying? Something about arrogance blinding me? That's rich coming from you. One lucky punch and you already think you've won. Who's the arrogance one now, wizard? But even then, that was when Moro had quickly gone to swipe away Beerus' hand by telling him, you are far beyond your ability to make early judgments about me, Beerus. Get your disgusting hand off off of me. Here's something you can laugh about. In which that was the very moment where Moro had gone in uppercutting Beerus in the stomach by asking, still think it'll be easy? With Beerus responding, good. Yes. Yes. I love it. This was what I was hoping to get out of you, you fool. This isn't just going to be easy, Beerus says, as he had then gone in uppercutting Moro in the face. That's when he went on to continue. But this will be a cakewalk, wizard. Come, I'm 
not finished. In which that was when Beerus was then shown quickly grabbing onto Moro's neck and having to bring him closer to his face by responding, you were better off leaving this planet when that idiot Saiyan gave you a chance, Beerus says. But now I can assure you that you won't live long enough to regret these actions of yours. Who are you compared to me, Beerus shouts? Did you really think that I was going to be as easy to face off against like those Saiyans? How ridiculous. They should have sentenced you to death a very long time ago when those Kai's had the chance instead of sending you on over to those galactic patrollers. Don't get cocky, Beerus shouts, as he was only then shown kicking Moro in the stomach, that's when he went on to continue, you are in no position to believe that you are in control of this battle, and since you want to trade blows, how's this for another example? To where as Moro was shown on the ground before Beerus had then gone to make his move again, that was when Beerus had gone to strike on down with Moro leaping out of the way by asking, how will you respond? Why you? But Beerus was not finished because despite Moro having to back away, that's when Beerus went on to lunge forward in attacking Moro by asking, how can you look at yourself and say that you can win a fight by using something you know nothing about? You are completely outclassed here, Beerus shouts, in which the very moment Beerus had then gone in kicking Moro directly in the back of the head, in which as Moro's body was then shown hitting the ground and being dragged all throughout the landscape, that's when Goku went on to add, man, just look at Lord Beerus go out there. Was he truly holding back this much power? power from me and Vegeta? I never understood why. I've always wanted to get my rematch with him, but never really knew what to make of his power until, well, right now. Well, there is still much that you don't know about Lord Beerus Goku, but watch, we says, you will see. To where all the while with Beerus being shown standing there, that's when Beerus went on to address Moro by telling him, give it up, wizard, your lack of awareness of how to use Ultra Instinct is evident. This battle of ours is over. But Moro Moro, on the other hand, seems to beg to differ as he was only then shown standing up by responding, you truly don't see it, do you? Is that because you've allowed your title as God to cloud your reality? You've always been this way from what I remembered, which is what will lead you down the path to your own destruction. And what exactly am I not seeing that's instead very obvious to you, Beerus asks? Your lack of understanding for Ultra Instinct and how to use it is painfully clear, so what exactly exactly do you find amusing? Oh, what's amusing to me, Moro says, is how you think this battle is over when it's only just beginning. The more I fight while using this power, the more I adapt to its nature, can't you see? And this whole time, I haven't even used a fraction of my true power against you. You should feel honored, Destroyer, as am I for having this opportunity to end your life. To where the very moment Master Ultra Instinct Moro was then shown powering up with such intensity and fury, and finally going as far as to now make the vow in putting Beerus down once and for all, that's when Moro went on to shout, I am beyond all life in the known universe! I am without rivals and my power is without limitations! I will show you the true nature of who I am and the full force of my true power! That surge of energy Beerus went on to shockingly respond, so he wasn't bluffing about his true energy and full power after all. To where as Moro was shown having to power up even more so in getting stronger than how he was before, it was only right then and there during that moment where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of Moro vs. Beerus manga chapter number one special then comes to a close. Now can you imagine what the overall situation and circumstances would have been like in not only seeing Moro hone Ultra Instinct to such an extent to where his body was not beginning to break down on itself, but to also see the interaction and engagement between between Moro and Beerus, considering the fact that with Moro being over 10 million years old, one would only imagine that by sheer reputation, one of course would know of the other, in which not only does this give Beerus a reason to more or less have a worthy enough opponent to fight, but this now only begs the question as to how far each party is willing to go by the very end, in which all of this and much more will continue to unfold as of course we are currently working on the next manga chapter, which will of course be available on the channel as soon as we end up coming together in meeting our like goal for this video in which the like goal for this video is going to be 15,000 likes. A very simple like goal to achieve because all you guys really have to do is scroll on down below and give this video a big fat thumbs up and that's essentially it. It's simple, it's easy, and more importantly, it's free. So down in the comment section below what I also want to know is let's just say if Moro did have the ability to perfect Ultra Instinct without his body having to collapse, then between himself and Beerus, who do you think would win in a one-on-one -on -one death match and why? To where again, I do want to thank you all so much for being here. Thank
thank you all so much for your time. To where, once again, if you guys also just so happen to be new to this channel and love Dragon Ball and anime, then I do encourage you guys to go on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon. That way you guys never miss a single video that is posted onto the channel. Tune back in for more. Thank you all so much for being here, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, guys, and have a great day. Peace. Hello. Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video.